What's up, guys? Um, apologies ahead of time if this audio doesn't come in super clear. My wife is in the other room um, working and playing music. But uh, we'll just see what we can do. Um, so I started doing this journal entry, and then I went, you know what? I should really be recording this because I'm really getting into it. Um, and the timing of it is very interesting to me. Uh, for a little background, I've been on my personal development inner work journey for a little over a year now. Um, it's, it's June and it started last year in March. It's been a long road. It's been a long, tough road. I'm completely happy and and truly grateful for my persistence and my discipline to to do the inner work that I've done and to stay on this path and to really see really see how I can change for the better how I can look at things differently, how I can improve, and what areas of me I can explore that I have not, that I just haven't before. So that's some background. Um, I've, I do prioritize you life coaching. Hopefully you know that. Uh, if not, please check out my website, chelseabcoaching.com. And other than that, I, I do... Um, some independent beach body coaching. It's now referred to as body. And I do rover. I'm on rover as a dog walker. Um, I do drop-ins. And so between those three things, they're kind of like three part-time jobs essentially. And I kind of bounce around in my schedule. And it's definitely contributed to this this idea that I'm trying to kind of reinvent myself, trying to find a new a new way of being that feels more like me because uh, when I was in a corporate job before, it definitely felt like I was in the wrong spot, like it was not a good match, this is not where I'm supposed to be but I didn't know how to get somewhere else and, and I thought that that was the only way that I could not only find success, but be able to support my family, have a steady, have that steady income, have a reliable job. I thought that was the only way to do it. So I'm unlearning that. And I think that's enough background to introduce my journal prompt. It's a quote. Um, from Jerry Gillies, maybe pronouncing that wrong. Jerry, if I pronounced it wrong, apologies. The quote is, you will recognize your own path when you come upon it because you will suddenly have all the energy and imagination you will ever need. So, like I wrote, I was typing, like I said, before I started this recording, and um, I've read this line of thinking many, many times. Um, I put... It's this concept that when you are aligned with your truth and who you came here to be in the universe, things start to come easily to you. It's not easy though, is it? It just looks that way from the outside. It looks easy because it comes effortlessly to you every day when you are aligned. You're energized, alive, in tune with your being, motivated, feeling good. Or as I like to say, thriving. I just want to thrive in every area of my life. I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask. So, in these moments when you're thriving, doors start opening. Opportunities start presenting themselves when you aren't even looking that hard. They're just landing right in front of you, an opening, and you're going, hmm, who put that door there? And uh, what's on the other side? Um, 
And then, what else I put here? Not only is it exciting, but it's such a little effort that you think that's gotta be too good to be true. And I remember, I remember getting ready to quit my corporate job and my sister knew somebody that was a beach body coach and connected us. And I talked to her and she had worked for the same company, surprisingly, and coincidentally, I guess I should say. And coaching people just seemed so much more me than what I was doing. And, but I didn't even try. I wasn't starting to ask around. My sister had mentioned it to this person she was talking to and the person was like, um, you know, give your, give my number to your sister, let's chat. And it all just started happening. And I wasn't looking for it, I wasn't trying. And I remember saying to a coworker, a co-worker, this just feels too good to be true. Like it feels like there's gonna be a catch, like I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, right? And we have those moments when things start going right. And you end up finding ways to prove it wrong or, or not give in. You know, you end up making excuses why this isn't a good idea or this isn't the right path for you or oh maybe you shouldn't do this because of xyz or there's too much risk and this is where i stopped journaling and decided i needed to record because i'm like why do we do that why do we do that why do we do that so turning back to my journaling why do i do that I really think it comes down to fear. It definitely comes down to fear. Um, fear of it not working out. Fear of failure. Um, And I, I also think fear of losing that good feeling. Feeling, I wrote feeling. Um, but no, yeah, fear of losing that good feeling is definitely in there. And I think there's also a component of not thinking we deserve it. I think there's also a component of unworthiness. That would be the proper term. Um, yeah, unworthiness, undeserving. Um, and like, why me? But in a but not in the why me? Why is this bad thing happening to me? Way. But why me, like, what did I do to deserve this? And I know, I realize both those things are things people normally say when something bad's happening. But I think that's part of it. I think we want a reason why something good is happening to us. Because otherwise we feel like we're undeserving or we're not worthy of it. Yeah. But yeah, the other way, why is this good thing happening to me? And then in enters the fear of losing that good feeling. This is wild. This is wild. Yeah. And like I said before, I've heard this. This isn't just Jerry saying it right here. I've read this so many times in a different way. Where where the things that you're good at, the things that interest you, 
might look like work to somebody else, but to you, they're, they're energizing. They're where you want to be. And so I think that if we can just find a way to prioritize ourselves and find out what those things are, what those things are that truly drive us simply because we have interest in it or we're good at it or both. Um, we're just being drawn to it. I think if we can pay closer attention to that, we could all thrive a lot more often. A lot more of us could thrive a lot more often. So that's the main message here for me from this is to keep focusing on me. Keep focusing on my personal development journey, my inner work. Keep focusing on the things that make me feel good, right? Mind, body, and soul, inside and out. What makes me feel good? And keep doing that. And what makes me feel bad? Stop doing that. Or, you know, try to work that out of your routine or out of your life completely, which, I you know, that's many other topics and many other days, but um, I think I think that's the main message. You know, keep, keep just trying to to be aligned with that for yourself. Um, and coincidentally, it all comes down to prioritizing you. So let's do that first and foremost. Um, don't forget it. Prioritize you. Find a way to prioritize you today, right now. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It can be something little, you know? Um, yeah, and we'll get there one day at a time. Peace, love, and rainbows.